on. Hi, Yiga. Hey, everybody. This is the uh, June 26th DEI Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Working Group for Chaos. Glad to see everybody here. Um, we have a special guest today. It's a very exciting day. I'm, I'm excited because, yeah, it's all good. Um, as you all know, this is under the Chaos Code of Conduct, so just keep that in mind as you interact with us today. And of course, cameras on, off, we don't care. Feel free to use the chat as much as you want. You do not have to turn your mic on, your camera on, nothing. Whatever makes you comfy is what you should do, because that's what we want. Let me, um, so I'm not going to share my screen because I think Errol's going to share, right? Okay. Um, I did want to mention though it's in the minutes and we can actually drop the minutes in the chat here really quick. Um, there is no meeting next week, we are taking the whole week off at chaos from meetings so yay. We needed that break, I think so so don't show up next week if you show up no one will be here or the other people that didn't get the memo will be here, those are who you're going to meet with so. Um, so yeah that was it that's the only housekeeping bit I had um, I will turn it over to Errol. Okay, cool. Um, we might be able to spend a little bit more time on these various exercises as well then, um, since we have a good 40-ish uh, minutes to, to discuss this. So maybe a little bit of background context and uh, Elizabeth, Liz, help me help me out here if I miss kind of represent anything. Um, but there have been a series of different meetings from the some of the regional is it regional leaders yeah regional leaders over probably a lot longer than I was joining those meetings uh, but I um I joined the last few of those those meetings and we've done a number of different exercises uh in those in those meetings well I say exercises uh collaborative discussions um and a lot of uh those collaborative discussions are around like what is chaos and who is it for trying to define the kinds of people that come to the chaos project what they're looking for uh what they find whether it's different from what they're looking for <laughs> in the project uh, and how they get there um what kinds of pathways activities interactions conversations do they have on that on that journey uh, so that ultimately chaos can better plan for that those kinds of journeys that people take in the project um so you will be able to i'll share my screen just so you can see some of the background stuff that we've done around those kinds of conversations uh, and if folks could let me know whether they see um a Miro board with lots of kind of colorful stickies either verbally or otherwise yes indeed we do okay lovely um so the first exercise that we were doing were were these um statements of chaos is a something for a audience uh to achieve a goal um and any of these exercises are at any point um they're not like uh finished and done uh the ones that we've done in the past uh if you want to you should be able to go into uh just i'm just going to do something really really quickly um before we do this i'm gonna save the board at its current state just in case anybody accidentally deletes something and can't undo um <laughs> which is always a good thing to do but any of these exercises, you can copy paste sections of them. You can fill them out yourself. Hopefully there should be um, a lot of different uh, instructions and guidance on how to fill out these exercises and what they're good for. Um, so as you can kind of see here, uh, it's a writing activity, this first one, and the, there's there's a prompt. Um, and they should hopefully be fairly self-explanatory. You can always ping me and ask me. I'm on the Chaos Slack. You can find me there if there's anything uh, that you'd like clarified. Uh, there we did these audience uh, like sun diagram wheels um, about expectations, goals and concerns, and then uh, mapped them out as like uh, we mapped the new contributors. Uh, so any of these exercises, uh, and again, let me know if this is incorrect. I, I think this is correct. We'd love for um, anyone to kind of get involved with those exercises. Uh, and then there is a contributor journey 
um, exercise that we started um, the, for a particular stakeholder. And there's loads of other stakeholders. And in fact, this is a great exercise to do as like yourself to create a little profile of yourself and fill out this information and then kind of map a um, contributor journey for yourself. Uh, but the exercise we're gonna go through is a shared definition of community um, today. But also I see in the chat, um, Mary Blessing is asking to know a little bit more about me and I can totally do that if we have the time for it. Um, so hi, I'm Errol, uh, Errol Fox. I have been doing paid and unpaid contribution volunteer in volunteer work in open source software for, I think since 2018, a little bit before that as well. But before that, I can't quite remember exactly what I was doing around contribution. Um, but when uh, in 2018 was when I started working at Ushahidi, which is a crowdsourcing uh, open source community platform for uh, crowdsourced information around elections and other other things that, that grew out of Kenya. Uh, I was working there as my first like um, job in open source. And then I got really involved in the open source design uh, space. And essentially um, my focus in the open source community space is about uh, a lot about uh, inclusion and diversity and inclusion, uh, particularly from um, a what do you contribute um, inclusion perspective. So we often kind of focus on code contributions of some description. I'm really interested in how we make things uh, accessible and um, projects contributable to from for all different kinds of people uh, and all different kinds of skills, uh, particularly from my side of things is design, anything to do with design research, user research, user interfaces, graphics, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I help maintain the open source design community. Um, and I do lots of other things uh, with my organization that I work for, which is called Superbloom. Uh, we do lots of um, design related work for lots of different kinds of open source projects and uh, particularly privacy and security related open source projects and like human rights related open source projects. Um, but yeah, we've worked on a lot of different things for a lot of different open source projects. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Vic uh, Victory, who might be um, a familiar name, um, works for Superbloom now, uh, which is lovely. She does, yes. Um, I'm very, very pleased that she ended up coming coming to work for us, um, which is great. Um, but yeah, uh, Superbloom does seem to sort of like absorb uh, people from the community and end up hiring them um, from a design perspective. So, hey, you know, you never know um, if you're looking for work uh, Super Bloom, from a design perspective, Superbloom is uh, always on the lookout for folks to work with. Um, is there any other questions about uh, me and why I'm here? I guess like Superbloom does some work with chaos. So I'm here uh, to work with chaos. <laughs> uh, Liz, is there anything else you wanna? Oh, please do send me LinkedIn connections. I'm on Instagram. Uh, I am on uh, Twitter or formerly known as Twitter X. Um, please connect. And if you have any questions, uh, either about this exercise or otherwise, happy to answer. I'm always happy to have conversations. Um, but Liz, is there anything else you want to kind of mention or talk about, like why we did, why, why we're doing this, or, or do you just want, should I just go for it? <laughs> um, I just want to apologize because I absolutely should have done like a segue into this. I just kind of threw you in. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about oh. that. Um, yeah, so I think you covered everything around the context and the background. It, this did, uh, so the way we know Superbloom is through the DEI audit that we did a few years ago, and that group um, stuck around, and some of those folks ended up being coming our regional leads. So um, that means Christy Progri, for those who don't know, uh, Christy Progri, Sally Yang, who is doing Latin America, Christy's doing the Chaos Balkans, and then of course Ruth, you all know Ruth, everybody knows Ruth. Um, so yeah, so that group has kind of been meeting and then Errol and Georgia um, have been running these fantastic exercises and they were super interesting and we thought it would be great to bring it to like the bigger chaos community. And I'm really happy that we have these folks here today because these folks are all very, um, uh, concerned isn't the right word, um, prioritize newcomer experience and are very 
uh, 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 what's the word I want? Um, they feel very strongly about that. So they are the perfect folks to be in here today. So this is gonna be a great exercise. I'm really happy that everybody could be here. Okay, I think that's all. If anybody has any other questions about how this all kind of came about, you can just ping me on Slack. I can, I can answer whatever you want, no worries. Yeah, and absolutely don't be afraid to interrupt me if you have questions or want to clarify something, or even if you want to take the exercise in a slightly different direction. Like if you have an idea, like we come up with like things that we think will provoke useful uh, content and conversations, but like you all are experts on the experience of being part of chaos. So like let me know if there's like actually Errol I think we should focus more on this kind of side of things more than this kind of side of things I won't be mad I'll be super happy that you are um collaborating and contributing uh and iterating with me so that don't be afraid to just like interrupt me so um the exercise that we want to go through uh, or one of the things that came up in the conversations when we were talking about audience types and the chaos project was the word community came up a lot. Um, and one of the tricky things about words and language generally is we hear a word and we have our own experiences, our own interpretations and our own understanding of certain words. And community was one of those words, like everybody could nod along and say, yeah, community is really important to us or community is what we is a, a definition of an audience type or how we want to frame uh, the way that we um, the way that we work. But everybody had a slightly different understanding of what community is, what good community is. Uh, what success means there. And I think we realized when we were using the word community and we had these different in interpretations that a useful exercise to go through is to essentially kind of um, get a shared definition from people in the room and also people not in the room right now that can collaborate after after this um, after this uh, this meeting uh, to to get those definitions and get those understandings of uh, community, but also words related to community. So essentially, the first part of the exercise is we've got a few different um, words down here on sticky notes. So we've got uh, word collaboration, we've got community, we've got togetherness, gathering, co-creation and friendship. All of these words are picked from the previous exercises that the regional leads had done around um, newcomers, new contributors and around audience types. And I'd like us to spend time, um, some quiet time at first, uh, writing down on uh, sticky notes, and I'll just pull out some extra sticky notes along each of the, each of the words. But I'd like you, like you all, to spend some time thinking about those words, and sharing and like writing a short story related to these words. The story doesn't have to be like have a particular goal. But what story first comes to mind around the chaos project, or it could be other projects and communities if you haven't had like an experience around this word. Um, but your first thought when you think of the chaos project and collaboration, tell us about a moment, a story where you've uh, experienced color collaboration. Tell us a moment, a story where you think about community. So I'm gonna um, put some more sticky notes out here for folks. I'm gonna put, um, I'm going to put seven minutes on a timer so that we can spend some time doing some typing for those that can. Anybody that's having trouble accessing the Miro board, please feel free to type in the Zoom chat and I can do a transcription process if, um, if using uh, Miro is tricky for you. And Errol, just um, to clarify, so an what would be an example of one, one thing we would put on here? So I might choose an example from, um, maybe I'll choose an example from open source design around collaboration. The first thing that comes to mind around collaboration from my experience in another open source project is when me and another member of the community realized that there was an essential kind of um, form for people that are 
trying to gain understanding from us as a community, there was an essential form missing. So we collaborated together to construct the questions that should be on that form. We had a really interesting conversation about like what it means to kind of word those questions. And so I would kind of describe that story as like my first thought around collaboration. So it's really helpful if we can think of things around chaos specifically, but if you don't have a, a example from chaos, you can use another project, but we're look, just looking for like these definitions, these, these descriptions of uh, what comes to mind when you uh, think of these words. And then we'll spend a little bit of time talking about them as well uh, afterwards. Don't feel like you have to do each one. If you manage to get more than one done, great. Um, but as many was well, as much as you feel like you can write in the time that we have, but I'll pop a timer on. Does everyone does everyone understand what we are doing? Can I get some like emojis or some like thumbs up that we okay, I got got one thumb up. Well, I joined late, so I have no idea, but I'll try and figure it out from the notes. <laughs> Uh, so each, uh, if you can go onto the Miro board, if you're prepared to do some, some typing, essentially we're thinking about, uh, short stories related to each of these words in the Miro board. So we've got like the word collaboration, the word community togetherness. So if there's a moment from the chaos project that when you hear the word togetherness, you go, ah, oh, that moment when this happened around this particular moment is about like is what I think of when I think of togetherness in the chaos project. So specific to the chaos project. If you have an example, if you don't have an example for the chaos project, then you can use an example from another open source project. But if you have a chaos related example, we prefer that. All right, thank you. Cool, cool, cool. appreciate the uh, sum up. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm going to put seven minutes on the timer and going to leave some folks to do um, do the writing and be as descriptive as you can. So I see somebody has got um, meeting new people at Chaos Con. Uh, where did you meet them? What were you doing? Did you have a drink together? Did you eat food together? What did you, where did you, how did you gather together? So as much detail as you, um, and what were the vibes essentially? Um, <laughs> as much detail as you can.
Ah, okay, I've got another copy paste to do. Community. Um, Oh, I added a couple of my own examples from what I remembered. Uh, Victoria, yes, please drop your words in the chat. Um, we can spend a little bit more time uh, for folks to share their example. Um, but also you can unmute and talk about your example as well. And I'm going to pick out a couple of different examples of, of what's been written already. But um, if anybody feels like they want to unmute and talk about, talk about their example, please, please go ahead. Otherwise I'll pick on someone. <laughs> I think I can. I've been typing, but I think it just feels great in having to meet the mic. <laughs> uh, should I should I go on? Yeah, please. So, what example were you giving about what which word was it? But yeah, I think um that would be on collaboration and um community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um on collaboration, I think okay, was the the first experience I had with collaborating um on a piece would be when when we had this partnership with GitHub last year to um work on a research for GitHub Copilot, you know, and you know, we were grouped into teams and Myself and the team I was a part of, we had our team lead and, you know, we all collaborated together to tell a story, you know, on how neurodivergent, you know, uses GitHub Copilot and how it has been effective in their um, daily tasks as um, tech talent, right? So that, that was my first experience with uh, collaboration in the, in the chaos projects. Then the second one was on um, planning the chaos con africa last year as well right mm. so um yeah collaborated with the amazing committee to you know um put together an awesome event and it turned out really really well um i had a good experience working with these people yeah and um on the community side uh i think i think uh, personally i joined chaos out of curiosity um i just wanted to contribute to open source because i've heard that um, if you're new to tech and, you know, because you need experience, you would need to, um, you know, do some sort of contributions, right? I was initially intrigued as to how you can contribute to open source and also get compensated for the work that you do, right? And um, I just joined in, but then again, I stayed for the community. And this, this was because, you know, Chaos Community it's, it has always been very, very welcoming, right? And I think um, when I knew that, oh, I just have to be here was one of the calls. I had shared a thought on something and, you know, I, I wasn't shunned. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I was expected to be, but, you know, just the, um, how it happened, right? Everybody just, right, like, oh, okay, that's, that's not a cool idea. So I, I felt really um, seen and heard and, um, I just knew that this this was like an amazing community to be a part of. So yeah. Amazing. Uh I felt seen and heard. Love that. Um amazing. Is anybody does anybody else uh, thank you so much for saying those examples out loud? I really enjoyed listening to them. Um it will make uh it will make sense why I'm asking for these stories when we move on to the second part of this exercise, I think. So um, but thank you. It's also really just nice to hear these these stories. Um, does anybody else want to say out loud any of their examples from from this part of the exercise? I'll throw in one just because it's top of mind with regard to Elizabeth. But I met with the dean of the College of Informatics last night. He was visiting Seattle, and I haven't seen him in six years, which was 
just we had a lovely four hour long dinner because we had six years of catching up. So we figured it was almost half an hour per year that we hadn't seen each other. And he was catching me up on a lot of the initiatives in the College of Informatics for Northern Kentucky University. They are actually working with Elizabeth on the idea of doing a chaos presentation to the undergrads, maybe targeting toward November. But Kevin also reminded me during dinner last night that there is a cybersecurity symposium that they hold every October. And I said, well, you should invite Elizabeth to speak at that too. <laughs> and so he may be reaching out to you, Elizabeth. Thanks for being my uh, my marketing department there. We appreciate you. <laughs> cool. I'm going to put Elizabeth on the spot again. Go for it, Ruth. Yeah, gang enough for you. So I think I want to talk about because I, I might have a lot to talk about the other parts, but like friendship, um, and it's kind of what um you know for open source communities, I think that um, sometimes people don't come in to see, or <laughs> it's not like you're coming to open source communities to look for friends, you're coming to contribute, right? Um, but I think for me, um, I've made real friends here and just highlighting the unbreakable bond myself and Elizabeth have. <laughs> But yeah, like um being being more serious, um, you know, coming into the community and meeting people that will go far and beyond for you, um, you know, just trying to get you the resources that you need, listening to um your rants and like everything that you have to say and taking into consideration is something I really love about open the open source community. Um, even within the people like for me, I started like contributing to open to open source some during the pandemic year with friends, right? And like that bond that we created trying to learn how to be part of a community was like really good. And like as we were creating that bond, we're also moving, you know, at the same pace. You know, like like it's 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 really beautiful. So I think mm -hmm. that's I want to share. Mm. Mm. Some beautiful words, Ruth, that I, I already want to copy and paste into the secret next section. Um, but I saw <laughs> I saw Victoria's hand. Would you like to unmute and speak? And then we'll go to Mary Blessing again. And then unless anybody else wants to speak, we'll move on to the next section. So Victoria? Yeah, I I did type in some things. I don't know if you saw it. I, it just fell from my end. I don't know why, but I typed uh, to follow up on what Ruth has said. I, I typed about friendship as well. I have found friendship here. Um, I want to talk about one specifically. I have found friendship in Yiga. Hi, Yiga. We met here and we worked on the project together. Um, taking it upon herself to help me improve in my open source program. She shares the resources and currently we're working on um, other to improve accessibility in Nigeria, so uh, we we met here and it's amazing. Um, this was possible because of chaos, and uh, it's really exciting. Mm. Thank you very much. I I typed out as well. It doesn't matter too much if we have like duplicates on these sticky notes at all. That's that's fine. So if you've typed it somewhere and I've retyped it, don't worry too much. Um. Uh, we'll do some I'll do some maintenance of stickies afterwards but um Mary Blessing would you like to uh say say something and then yeah. we'll move on to the next section yeah sure I I wanted to speak on two more things I, I missed the friendship parts yeah but I wanted to speak on togetherness um uh, I think the one I can think of um 
yeah, would be the still still on chaos con Africa last year. I think there was this part where I had to like, you know, have a coffee chat with um Justin, Justin Flory. He came around. So um we we uh, went for uh, a coffee chat, myself, him and some other person. Um, but yeah, that was a really awesome conversation, right? We had um that, that time and it also um, made me get to know him more, right? And some of the values he holds there. Um then I wanted to also speak on um friendship. Oh <laughs> I have met really amazing people here in chaos, right? And um um it is red one <laughs> roots um being our chapter lead um and I've also gotten my 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 biggest contract yet from you know having to know someone from the project which is roots right and she had all, all always been recommending me for opportunities that you know are like my interest and I'm really really thankful to that and um also speaking on friendships I've also like met um other people that you know from time to time we get to collaborate on stuff together and just um you know share exciting ideas from time to time um Busayo, right and a host of so many other people right i can't even start mentioning right so yeah um the community has really really brought amazing people to my life and i am so thankful awesome i saw hamza's hand and then liz i don't know if you want to take us take it wrap up this section um but Hamza is there anything that you would like to say oh yeah uh thank you so uh I think uh, once again uh hello everyone so I joined commit I joined the chaos community in order to collaborate and uh, thank god I the the collaboration that I had with a lot of people from different different perspectives was really amazing so I joined, we initially when I joined Chaos, I am part of every group attending every meeting. <laughs> it kind of weird because I will, I would like to, why I do that is because I, I, I'm just curious to know where will I fit in, despite knowing that I'm a developer, but I'm seeing other groups like uh, diversity, equity, and then even the designers, of course, developers and designers are friends and they work hand in hands. So up to today, I do attend a lot of design meetings and I can see one or two, three things. But the one that really, really enjoyed me because it's, it's, when I, it's when I joined the chaos community, then I understand, yeah, you can actually learn while you are you know, contributing to a project. Before, I used to think that you have to be expert on a particular thing before you can contribute to it, not knowing that you can also learn. So... When I joined, there was an active project going on. I also learned a lot of things while contributing to that project. So I am forever grateful. Then from the friendship perspective, I made a lot of friends here who deep inside my heart, I still respect. I really respect them because when they didn't see me in the group, they reached out to me personally. Hey, Hamza, how are you doing? Uh, it's been long that I see you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And then, of course, I can talk about this all day long because <laughs> this is why I'm a community manager, all of these things. Um, I just wanted to add that it is personally rewarding, super rewarding for me, not only when I see a newcomer come to the project and then I see them show up at a meeting, I see them show up again and again and again and at different meetings. And I feel, and when they find their, their place and when they are able to contribute something meaningful, that to me is a huge success. Like if the project fails, okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we do meaningful work here and we do actually, you know, make a difference in open source and making communities healthier. But for me personally, that's, that's the thing that I love the most is when I see somebody that now feels like they belong and they feel like they fit in and they can, they can contribute their skills, especially when it's someone who doesn't write code. I feel like that's a little bit more challenging to find. So just personally rewarding and extremely meaningful for me personally. Amazing. Um, so uh, that was that was really lovely. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing. Um, people that shared on the written sticky notes, and also people that spoke out loud and shared. Um, and I think um, you may have kind of gotten a bit of a spoiler of what 
what we're doing next with the, these stories. So I feel like sometimes when we try and define a word like community to try and get this shared understanding of it, the we kind of sometimes intellectualize the word community. Like we need to have a dictionary definition of the word community in order to fully understand it. But I feel like the word community is already being defined by these stories and experiences that people are having in chaos. And this is, this was my sort of uh, hunch when I was building this, this kind of exercise. So I feel like what we can do is spend, uh, I just want us to spend five minutes um, reading and thinking, uh, reading some of the statements that uh, were said and picking out these phrases and words that come out of the story, stories that were shared, that kind of uh, signal to us like, yes, this is what the chaos community, how we would define the chaos community. So I kind of picked out some already as you were, y'all were talking, like, and the words don't have to fully kind of mm, uh, make grammatical structural sense but I picked out connected moving at the same pace amazing people people fit in make a difference rewarding experiences there were loads of other uh, words and statements that were said that can be added there but I feel like if we spend a bit of time adding in uh, small sections of these stories I think that we'll uh, pretty much start to have our definition of what community for chaos members uh means uh, and how it can be defined um so uh i think some folks have access to the miro and can do some copy paste work but also if um i'll be the scribe person i can i can do some some uh scribing for people that don't have access to the miro so if you feel like you want to copy paste uh please go ahead um i'll add some blank sticky notes to the section down here but essentially we're looking for words from these stories or small sections of these stories that kind of encapsulate that fee those feelings and those definitions of community if that makes sense so if you want to say them out loud I can write them down or if you want to copy paste from the written stories please go ahead and I'll just put five minutes on the timer just so that we know how much time we've got uh so i'm gonna go and grab found friendship please please join me in in uh building this this word cloud definition i feel like respect is another really important one right have we got that in there not yet anything else that jumped out at people any phrases or words you can unmute and say if you if you don't feel like you can't unmute. Get to know people. There's a building bonds as well. I think was really came through in a lot of stories. Oh, and there was perspectives. Hmm. Nice. I see some folks doing, doing some writing. I'll add some more stickies. Anything else that needs adding, folks? <laughs> values. I could understand the values of others. Chaos community is understanding the values of others. So those are the kinds of phrases that I'm looking for. Do you know, do you kind of get one? So community, chaos defines community as understanding the values of others. Bored and welcomed. It's not at ease. Connecting and empowering others. Nice. Mm. Mm. 
also feel like get this done is a good way of defining community and chaos. Get this done. Yeah, we do have the parties. Almost done. Why? Noise always surprises me. Okay, cool. So uh, I wanted to. I wanted to kind of refine some of these words from from these stories because I kind of feel like within these stories that we tell about the things that we do in open source communities is kind of where we can find the ways that we define what is important about um, the community. Um, I think we might... Uh, I'm, I think we might, yeah, I think that this next section we might move on from. I think I want to go and head over up here. Um, and I kind of, uh, let me see how much time, how much more time. Oh, gosh, we haven't got time. Um, we're over time. I am so sorry. Um, I lost track of time. Um, but uh, how about the next meeting? I can take us through the other sections if folks want. Okay. That would be amazing. Absolutely right. amazing. Cool. So it would be in two weeks. Is that OK? Yeah, perfect. That would be fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Cool, cool, cool. I'm so sorry I lost track of time. I got really like into the stories that you were telling and the definitions that we were coming out with. So I completely, I should have been a better timekeeper, but thank you so much for your time and attention to this. No, I think uh, we were all on your level. Like we were all into it as well. So yeah, no, I was, I'm sad that the time is over. <laughs> it's so fascinating and interesting. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and close the meeting. I know there is another one starting in about five, but um, yes, thank you so much, Errol. Oh my gosh, we cannot wait to have you back in two weeks. Uh, for those who joined a little bit late, um, I think I see you peculiar. Uh, we'll catch you up offline, but thank you again. We will see everybody here in two weeks, not next week, two weeks.
Bye, everybody. See you later. Thank you again, Errol. You're amazing. Amazing. See you in two weeks, folks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.